The topic of this project is the history and compositional techniques of electronic dance music. The resulting ebook and accompanying website will serve as the centerpiece for a course that covers the history, popular songs, and common compositional techniques of electronic dance music. I have taught this course once in a classroom setting and a few other times in private one-on-one -on -one sessions. Through my research, I've recognized a need for a text that combines multiple approaches to each EDM subgenre. This project offers an opportunity to translate my knowledge and research from teaching uh, into a relevant and useful text for educators and students. The scope of this project is limited to the following topics. A brief explanation of the history of electronic music, a focus on five selected subgenres of the EDM, and conclusions. The intended audience of the project is students enrolled in a college course. The ebook was chosen as the delivery format for a number of reasons. Updatability, low cost of entry, and portability to printed formats. The project is delimited by the choice of the five subgenres, despite there being hundreds of others. The main published works on EDM fall into two categories, social and economic analyses of the scene within each subgenre and how-to manuals for producing EDM. The first category is interesting and historically rich as socio-economic considerations played major roles in the formation of many genres of EDM. The second category is important because it focuses on a, summar on a summary of commonly used techniques for specific genres of EDM. Major considerations beyond the topic will, be, will need to be reviewed in three major areas. Textbook effectiveness, ebook creation, and the effects of ebook distribution. Textbook writing and evaluating is important, and research will be conducted on evaluating textbooks. The pedagogical approach of textbooks, textbook design and presentation, the quality of textbook content, author's management, and how the evaluation of textbooks plays a role in marketing them. Textbook writing is directly related to instructional design. The Edutech Wiki website has detailed information relating pedagogical theory with textbook writing. Drawing on the information presented at the Edutech Wiki website, M. David Merrill's Principles of Instruction apply. The site goes on to analyze textbook writing in a wider pedagogic strategy combined with classroom activities, lectures, etc. The text is broken into seven chapters to help break up the large topic of electronic dance music into logical chunks. The first chapter is a survey of electronic music, while the last chapter is a forecast for the future of EDM. The middle five chapters were chosen as representative subgenres within EDM, both for historical relevance and popularity. You can see the seven chapters listed here. The subject content of this project is a historical and critical composition technique analysis of electronic dance music. A historical background of electronic music reinforces a study of five genres of EDM. Many of the most useful works focused on EDM have unfortunately gone out of print. As a result, there is a void of useful texts available for use in the classroom on the subject of EDM. This gap in quality video content and the lack of effective EDM textbooks combine to form the relevance and value of this project. The EPUB development will take place on a MacBook Pro running the Snow Leopard operating system version 10.6.4. Adobe InDesign CS5 will be utilized for the layout and design of the content following the examples and directions from Elizabeth Castro's excellent book, EPUB, Straight to the Point. Technique examples will be created with Ableton Live version 8.2. The Ableton Live session files as well as general MIDI files will be available for download at the associated website. Video screen captures of the creation of these technique ex examples will be recorded with Telestream's ScreenFlow application, version 2.1.4, and also available for download at the associated website. Videos will be encoded utilizing the H.264 codec and AAC stereo audio. The accompanying website will be built utilizing Joomla version 1.5. This is an overview of the website that will accompany my electronic dance music ebook project. This is the multimedia portion. Um, the uh, website provides additional resources and links and a chance to submit compositions for review. Information about how to purchase the ebook will also be available at the website. The front page is going to show the latest media that's available um, to view. Uh, if you choose media, it will also display um, the latest examples of what's available.
These are uh, example videos that show techniques and there are also um, files associated with this technique in this video that you could download both in an Ableton Live session format and general MIDI for use in other programs. The online musical examples are also um, appear under the media tab and under the technique resources it simply shows the uh, the videos and those will be also included in the ebook. The music examples are links to online versions of each song for reference. They're organized by chapter and if you click on any of these links they'll open up in a new window a YouTube video of the actual song with uh, audio so that the user can get an idea of uh, what these genres sound like. The educators resource tab asks you to register and once you registered you would have access to other resources. The registration just asks for basic information in addition to school affiliation and the level of the affiliated school as well as level of expertise with electronic dance music. Once you gain access, um, this is an example of the resources that would be available to educators. There will be continuation topics and resources for each chapter. This is an example of four continuation topics um, with links to Music Concret, an article, uh, interviews, etc. This is an example listening quiz where you could assign um, the students these seven pieces to learn and then um, playing short examples of at least four of these pieces you could um, conduct a a proper listening quiz. Here are uh, five example test questions that could be used with chapter one and then uh, an example syllabus to teach the material that uh, would be in the ebook. If you choose the read more you can see that this syllabus is fully fleshed out to include three classes worth of material split into different sections um, to teach the bulk of the material that would be in the ebook for chapter one. Each of the additional chapters would have a similar layout to chapter one and will be fleshed out as the ebook is fleshed out. There is also a song submission section where you're able to submit songs based upon genre. So if I choose any one of these, I can get more information about how to do that. You must uh, be sure that your song has at least um, most of the qualities that are listed here in order to nail the style and also in order to have your song available online for review. So for example here um, under the house genre, these are the general qualities that uh, you would generally look for in a house genre piece in order to nail the style. In addition to that, below that, um, there are some song submission guidelines, basic audio format information, file size, um, no profanity, no copyrighted uh, samples or loops should be included, and um, it again, it stated that it, the submitted song must exhibit at least most of the general qualities of that style um, as prescribed on each page. Each style has its own song submission page that includes um, general qualities of that style to help steer people in the right direction of nailing that, nailing that style. Finally, there are, is a search on the website as well as a contact page for information on how to contact me, the author of the ebook. That is the overview of the website that will accompany the Electronic Dance Music ebook project. Students at Washington and Lee University will be asked to review example content on EPUB readers, including the Apple iPad and Amazon Kindle. The students will then respond to a questionnaire that evaluates the effectiveness of the content and the delivery method. The majority of the project evaluation will come from the feedback generated by the pilot study. Students will access the content and respond to a questionnaire. The responses will help evaluate the effectiveness of the project and influence changes to layout, content organization, and overall concept. Creation of the project will begin in earnest in January of 2011. The initial phase will be content creation and organization, beginning with an outline of each chapter. The actual text will be created for an example chapter once complete information is filled into each chapter's outline. The project will be completed in the second summer semester.